day of battles, a day of protests, a day of killings. Welcome to Southern Circuit that quickly highlights the top news from Southern India. I'm Pratibha Raman. We start with fresh violence again in Tamil Nadu. The anti sterlite protests in Tutukudi resulted in another three people dying. Shomek reports. Fresh violence broke out today in Tutikorin in which a total of three people died as the police opened fire again. The protesters gathered again today despite police clampdown to not only agitate against sterlite industries but to also demand justice for the nine people killed in police firing yesterday. The situation continues to be tense and section 144 of IPC continues to be imposed at Tutukudi Pratiba. Thanks Shomik. Let's pray for those who lost their lives in Tutukudi. Meanwhile, the political drama in Karnataka continued to play out even today as HD Kumarasamy took oath as the CM, while BJP protested against it. Suman has the details. Karnataka Governor Vajabai Wala administered the oath of secrecy to JDS State President HD Kumar Swami, who was sworn in as the 25th Chief Minister of Karnataka Pratibha. Kumar Swami took oath in the name of God and people of Karnataka. On the occasion, veteran Congress leader G. Parmeshwara too took oath as the Deputy Chief Minister of Karnataka. Kumar Swami will have to prove his majority on May 25th. Meanwhile, six time MLA from Congress, Ramesh Kumar, has been unanimously selected as the Speaker of Karnataka Legislative Assembly. Thanks, Suman. Well, we still have the floor test in Karnataka on May 25th, which will hopefully see the climax of this political thriller. But it's horror playing out in Kerala now, with the new virus causing panic. Sabya, tell us more. Nipah virus is suspected to have made its presence felt in Trivandrum Pratiba. A man, a native of Malapuram, was admitted at the Tiruvananthapuram Medical College with the assumption that he had contracted Nipah virus infection. But the reports gave a different result. He had high fever and headache when he was admitted to the hospital. But the test result of his blood and fluids were negative, confirming that he is not infected with Nipah virus. Thanks, Sabya. All of you, please stay safe. Health comes first. But when it's politics, seems like only money comes first. Kaushik brings us this story from Andhra Pradesh that will tell you why. Andhra Pradesh Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu led Telugu Desam Party, popularly known as TDP, is the second richest regional party in India. Pratibha, TDP had fetched an income of rupees 73 crore in 2016-17. Surprisingly, it had made just rupees 16 crore in 2015-16. A report released by Association of Democratic Rights has revealed that the Samajwadi Party is the richest regional party with Rs. 82 crore and TDP stood in the second place with Rs. 73 crore income. Accordingly, TDP has collected Rs. 60 crore through party membership fee and rest of the money through voluntary donations. Thank you, Kaushik. That's the end of the show today. We'll be back tomorrow with all the news brewing in the South. See you and goodbye.